Thank you so much. This is uh, an amazing moment for the state of Arkansas, and I could not be more grateful for the partnership with President Hester. Um, you know, when you're coming into your first legislative session, there are a lot of unknowns. But one of the things that I knew would be one of the most important things that would carry us through and deliver real success for the people of our state was the partnership with members of our legislature. And we could not have asked for a better, more dedicated group of people uh, an unbelievable leadership under President Hester and Speaker Shepard, who could not be here with us today. So, thank you. We only had a couple moments where we disagreed, but we ultimately, I think, all ended on the same page on every big issue. And the big winners out of that entire process were the citizens of our state. And I'm very thankful for all of the members of our legislature that are here because without each of you and your dedication and your willingness uh, to stand up to the critics and to push back when it was really important, we would not be here and we certainly would not have the level of success that we have had in this first 100 days without each one of you. So thank you for your leadership. I'm also really proud of the unbelievable team that I get to work with every single day. The members of our staff are some of the most dedicated public servants I have ever encountered. And I've had the chance to work with a lot of people and there are no greater individuals than those that have poured themselves into these first 100 days. Every challenge that I have issued, every request that I have made, every uh, moment they have stepped up and delivered time and time again uh, and I like to keep my foot on the gas pretty much all the time all the way to the floor and this team has been right there every single step of the way I'm very thankful for each one of you and your dedication to our state uh, the staff in the governor's office as well as our amazing cabinet and total administration have been absolutely unbelievable and incredible partners from day one. So thank you for your willingness to stand with me, even on the days where it wasn't so easy. So thank you. It is very special and pretty fitting that we get to celebrate this moment here today while we're at the governor's mansion. We are literally making Arkansas history as we are surrounded by Arkansas history. I don't mean this to sound like a joke about his age, but I get to sit in front of uh, some Arkansas history today. <laughs> Arkansas's best governor, one of our country's best governors, and one of the most remarkable leaders anywhere that I've ever seen. My dad is here as well as my mom, and I'm so thankful that you are here and on the front row uh, to be part of the new history that we are getting to make here. This is still the place that my family has lived longer than any other, is this one behind us. And I hope that the memories that my kids get to make are as great as the ones that my brothers and I did under two amazing parents who loved this state and served with everything that they had. So thank you. You know, the first day that I walked into this house, I'll never forget the feeling, kind of the overwhelming power of stepping into this uh, amazing, incredible spot. Everything seemed so big and frankly pretty intimidating for a 13-year-old girl from Texarkana, Arkansas. Still, kids have a way of making things their own and rising up to the challenge and the intimidation. And on more than one occasion, I found myself downstairs in my pajamas welcoming a tour group that was uh, here. I have no doubt that my kids will be carrying on not only that tradition, but making plenty more of their own special moments in history. Uh, and I, I have warned the state troopers in the detail, they may want to get their handcuffs ready because uh, we've got a couple wild ones in our group. But my husband Brian and I could not be more excited about taking on the next 100 days. None of what I have been able to do, not just in these 100 days, 
but in the last decade plus would have been possible without him. And I'm so thankful that we get to do this together and that we get to raise our kids in this unbelievable place. One of the most special parts of this house is the Janet Huckabee Grand Hall. My mom worked tirelessly to build that and I'm amazed at the work that she was able to accomplish and the way that she was able to get that done despite all of the craziness that went on around it. One of my favorite parts about that building and that place is that it lists the names of all of the governors who have lived here, who have come before me. And each name on that staircase tells a story of the public servants who came before me and lived in this house and served in this office. And each is a reminder of what this new generation and this new administration means. I love the Arkansas that I grew up in. The Arkansas that many of those earlier governors helped to build. But I ran to be a change maker, not a caretaker of the status quo. And despite some of the great things that were done by those people that came before me, we came here to shake things up. And I think that's exactly what we have done over these first 100 days. On the campaign trail, I said time and time again that change had to start in the classroom. Underperforming schools don't just fail our students. They condemn a generation to a lifetime of government dependency. In my first 100 days, we passed Arkansas Learns in record time because we came here to break the status quo. We're giving teachers the historic pay raise that they deserve. And we're giving Arkansans the right to choose whatever school works best for their family. And we're making historic investments in early literacy, in pre-K, and career and technical education. The change that we are bringing to the education system in Arkansas is transformational and it is going to have an impact for generations to come long after all of us here are finished. And I am so unbelievably proud of the work that each of the individuals here put in to make that possible. These changes are already paying off. Just this past week, because of Arkansas Learns, the state is keeping Marvel Elaine School District in Phillips County. That district is staying open. That would never have been possible before Arkansas Learns. It's not enough just to educate our kids though. We also have to make sure they're safe, whether they're online or on the streets in our communities. As the first mom to ever hold this office, one of my top priorities is protecting our children from predatory social media companies and making sure that they're safe wherever they are. We all know that big tech is abusing our kids' privacy and wrecking their mental health. That's why we passed a law that finally gives parents more control over their kids online. And soon, all Arkansans under 18 will need parental permission to get on social media. But online threats aren't the only thing endangering our kids. In these first 100 days, we've made landmark changes to Arkansas's justice system, cracking down on the criminals terrorizing our city. We raised the minimum amount of time felons spend behind bars before they're let out on supervision. And we will build a new 3,000 bed prison to stem the prison shortage in our state. We will not allow inmates to walk free anymore simply because we are out of space. These changes will be tough on criminals. And I've been very clear, Arkansas justice will be tough, but it will be fair. As we improve education and public safety and more homegrown talent and businesses will decide to stay here in the natural state. As long as we have some of the highest taxes in the region, we know people will leave for greener pastures which is why I'm so proud that we were able to continue working on phasing out our state's income tax by passing a $150 million tax cut. Any 
individual making over $24,000 in the state of Arkansas will now have more money back in our pockets because of the hard work of our legislature and our executive branch to deliver. We will. One of the last key priorities that we had in this session was making sure that everybody outside of Arkansas understands the amazing story that we have to tell. I consider myself the chief salesperson of the state of Arkansas. I love the fact that we're called the natural state and I want everybody else to know why. We have some of the most beautiful natural resources of any state in the country and people need to know it. Our Kansans should be proud of the investment and the resources that we have right here in our own backyard. Tourism is our number two industry and we have now cut some of the red tape and the government regulations so that it can continue to improve growing our state's outdoor economy. I'm so proud of the work that my husband has done leading the Natural State Initiative and helping to grow outdoor recreation and that outdoor economy right here in our backyard. Despite the fact that we were working hard and spending the bulk of our time on this legislative session over the last 100 days, our state was faced with other challenges. We had absolute and total destruction across central Arkansas, hitting some of our biggest population centers, Little Rock, North Little Rock, Sherwood, Jacksonville, Cabot, and win over in East Arkansas. This was a devastating storm that hit our state just three weeks ago. And when a natural disaster this big happens, you put all the politics that we've been focused on, you put those things on the back burner. And you step up and you focus on the people of our state. You push the paperwork, you push the partisanship to the side, and you focus on making sure that the basic needs of every Arkansan are met. I was on the ground from the offset to meet with survivors, direct relief, and coordinate with officials, both Democrat and Republicans alike. The road to recovery is going to be a long one. But even as I surveyed damage in the hours and days after the storm, I saw something so incredible, something that gave me hope, something that reminded me why Arkansas is such an incredible and special place. I watched our Kansans step up and put their arms around each other, offer the jackets right off of their own backs, open their homes, open their doors, and take care of people in need. It's the proudest that I have ever been to be the governor of the state of Arkansas. Seeing that, I know that whatever changes that we have made in the last 100 days, that Arkansas will be successful. We will continue to be the greatest state in this country, not because of anything any of us do, not because of any of the change that we bring about, but because of the people that we have the honor of getting to serve. There is nothing that I could be more grateful for and have the opportunity to do than to be the governor of this unbelievable place. Thank you so much for working with me, helping us to implement this change, but more importantly, taking care of the people of our state when they needed it the very most. Thank you for your dedication to the people of Arkansas. I can't wait to see what we get done over the next eight years. Thank you guys so much and God bless you.